Hi, Cyber Station! Look what we found! No freaking... The World's End pub! No way! How... Uh, I... Uh... That's so cool! How? We just found the World's End. <laughs> We're gonna take some photos oh, no. now. <laughs> if it was open, we would have a drink at the World's End. Well, you totally would. <laughs> I, I... That's pretty. That's Corf Castle. It's a bit more ruiny than other castles we've been to, but yay! We've got a nice little walk to the uh, castle, which would be quite nice. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you some history and he'll probably pretend to be a knight. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like travelling with a child. Bloody hard castle to storm, wouldn't it? It's only a it's hill. Like all the way up that hill. It's only tall. <sighs> Where are you going? Oh, an exciting way. about how a castle like that can get into such disrepair and how it's kind of all ruined but it got blown up in 1646 and these are parts of the castle that rolled down the hill that's <laughs> crazy oh. this is cool this let's go in there. found ourselves in the oldie medieval times that's pretty cool very that's awesome just chatting to the guy with the or the knight or the guy with all the armor um, and he was telling us all about it and telling us the kind of information and the how rare having a full suit of armor is it will cost like million like in today's money millions to have a suit of armor like that is it and eight to fifteen million depending on what kind it was and they would like these people it kind of you it would be as rare to see like a really flashy Bentley kind of rolling around to see a guy in a knight in those days so it's kind of you expect it like Hollywood eyes you see knights riding around all the time and they're kind of constantly Everyone moving through but there's like about 60% of the population probably more would never have seen a knight yeah. in England we, uh, one of the good comparisons that he said to us was this castle cost three thousand pounds in their in the money then their money and, and a big suit of armor would have cost 500 so six suits of armor could buy you this a castle this so Suits of armor were rare. I want to work at one of those places. A, a Tudor version would be perfect for me. I know all my stuff. <laughs> Look at the damage done to that one. It's kind of complete. Sorry, it's kind of completely fallen down on that side. It's like some serious destruction on this that thing. Is, wow. <laughs> that it slid so much because the parliamentarians during the civil war exciting bit of history that i know um lit gunpowder underneath it to breach it and it worked because there's a big old hole in it <laughs> it's a view so cool i was just saying that there's uh neil was asking if that was the last point of entry in like the last resort but you come in the first gate you then have that old big area if you get, then get through this gate you have to run all the way through here around the corner to get to the keep so it's like you're taking on a tour around the whole castle before you can get to the keep, giving the defenders the most chance to try and shoot all of you before you get there. It was actually invented by the Welsh. It was certainly first used by the Welsh. King Edward II invade, invaded Wales and the Welsh grabbed whatever they could get to basically defend themselves. Watch Tom's position. He is not standing upright. If you stand upright like you saw in the Olympics, he would not be able to pull this boat. Lovely. And that that square there, that was the old hall, which is the first building that was here built by the, they think, the Anglo-Saxons. And then um, we we're saying that we see the end result of a castle, but the castle would have been built by sections. The first part of this castle was built in 957, um, and the last part of it was built in 1205 or something. So that's crazy how long it took. Look at that. Completely, like, knocked over and destroyed. It's it's insane how much destruction. It's, it's perfectly upright. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> so that this the keep itself was only be, built in eleven in the eleven hundreds because it was twenty one meters tall, like the actual keep above on top of a fifty five meter mound. So imagine seeing that looming towards you, and you're like, oh crap, we've got to siege that. No vegetables, as nobles thought they made you ill. There you go, Dad. <laughs> Greens are evil.
Okay, look at that. Boys and the kind of size of this thing. You can tell it's built specifically to be a grand castle, and it's just such a shame that it got destroyed because uh, the owners of it, after Queen Elizabeth had sold it, were loyal to the king, lo loyal to uh, King Charles during the English Civil War. And then, yeah, and uh, it um, got destroyed by the parliament parliamentarians during the Civil War. It held off two sieges and then the final one because uh, there was some treachery within the walls and some people blew up the uh, West Tower. That's sad, but it's pretty cool. A bit of history. This is like a grand view. You just get this feeling of grandeur and, and royalty and you're like, hey, hey, you, peasant, build me a house right there. And, and you build a church and you a graveyard. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? I asked the lady you if we could have lady. a quiz and she was like, have you already been walking around? I was like, yes. Like, Would you like a medal? Yes. Did you get a medal? We got a medal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got I conquered Corp Castle medal. It's so cool. <laughs> Let's sit down and conquered actually that. some of these out so we don't feel so bad. Yeah. We're just saying so goodbye to Corp Castle. It was never sieged. It was well, it was sieged, but it was never taken over. It remained the most defendable castle. It was just those mean parliamentarians. Controlled explosion which killed the people who did it. <laughs> yeah, they got one. It's uh, that's crazy. Well done, Corf Castle, you did your job. It's a world full of monkeys! Yay! World! Monkey World! Right, Monkey World, if you ever saw the TV programme, it's um, a park of monkeys, all saved and lovely and happy monkeys. Where should we go first? Places! <gasps> Gift shop! It's a woolly monkey! Look how curly his tail is. It's adorable. Yeah, dude. How's it going? Oh, he's so cute. The woolly monkey. It's the tiniest little thing. It's so cute. Although this looks like a building site, it's actually a monkey enclosure. It's yes, they've got so many toys. For the chimpanzees, it's there's so many toys. That would be so yeah, much fun to jump. I would love to play on that, except I would probably die. Hey, dude, dude, come play in the, come play in the tube, man. No, don't wanna. Hey, dude, the tube, totally the tube. No. Nope. Yes. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, bottom. There's so many of them. They're all going outside now. It's orangutan. I like orangutans. I like orangutans. They're orange. They are. The kaputi monkey, like in friends. Oh, kitty. No one else is. It's mine. My one. <laughs> <laughs> you just moved so quick. So why you trying to be very silly? <laughs> Oh, Tony, I just say Bless him. Oh, very cute. He's just chilling, seeing what's going on. How long and gangly they are. It's crazy. <laughs> They're funny. Oh. <laughs> He's coming back. Oh, I know. It's just, yeah, get this side. It's my best side. I like it. <laughs> Got a shave as well, yeah, just right here. Just having a little wander through the woodland walk. It's 
quite quiet here. I like it. I'm still keeping an eye out for monkeys, just in case. Just in case, you know. You can never tell with Monkey World. The most annoying of the primates. They're human. They dawdle. They get in the way. And they're just quite that little bit too loud. The smaller ones have no survival instincts and are looking for a good hit on the head. They have no idea. Too much noise. They have no idea how annoying they really are. Nima! Oh, they're so cute. So agile as well. Mm. I like ringtone Nima. Hey. Oh, is he gone on oh. the monkey Here he goes. Oh, look, the other one's going to see him. Get him go. Nicolette, Nicolette, up. Hello. He's so chill, it's ridiculous. Now, to plan my escape. I'll go over this way and I'll... Hold on, I wonder if I can tunnel under. Oh, it's a bit hard. Let me see. Is that... No. No, it's too hard. I, I'm not built for digging either. Anyway, maybe I can just climb this rope to freedom. Bye! I'm coming. There he goes. There he goes. Nice butt. Oh, no, okay. I'll go out there. No fear. <laughs> Just keep climbing. Why would you have fear when you've got this good arms and legs like that? <laughs> wow. Such skill. Yeah, we're quick. Oh, he's got face. Bye bye. I like squirrel monkeys. They're just adorable. They're ridiculous. Where cute. is it? Daisy, bye. Oh. Where is the squirrel bye. monkey? Have <laughs> 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 you like swinging? Just about time we should leave and um, go to our campsite and yeah, so yeah, thank you Monkey World, that was fun. Tent pitched and a fine guide rope there. And we're off to Lulworth Cove because we got some time left in the and day. It's pretty. And it's pretty, let's do it. Look how cute. Ah. Little town full of little, little people, people waking up to say Hello! Ig. We're gonna go find ourselves a coastal path to go have a wonder and we'll go up there to look down on it. But yeah, it looks quite pretty. On an adventure! Okay, he's off on an adventure. Ah! Looks pretty behind you! Look at that. It's so pretty. The water looks so turquoise as well. Blue for England. So blue for England. It's kind of pretty. That is pretty. Billy Sandin looks. Oh. I'm pretty sure Mum, Matt, and Dad went. We're on that side of it, whereas we're on this side. But still a bit of an adventure. We're going down a coastal path and going past signs that say danger. It's always good. Danger. I laugh in the face of danger. Ha 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 ha. It's so nice! It's like a super secret tunnel. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> Doesn't seem that secure. Oh, she's a brave girl. Does it work? Does it work? <laughs> <laughs> Ten for the dismount. Yeah. I saw the little fire. He's tiny. But it's all we need. We're just making one to play with. It's a camp. We need fire. fire. We need camp a camp. Fire. 
So quaint. <laughs> what are you doing? Double douche. For when one douche is not enough. It's kind of going down. You edited for today? Yeah. Good. We we'll just have to add this on. At the end of the day, it was a fun day, it was a fun packed day, and um, tomorrow we're going to go to various other places and then go to Holsworthy, which is the, the town where my grandma and granddad lived, um, and it's very exciting for me to go there, so that would be cool. So, yeah, see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.